All right, so just a couple more tips when you're taking your video in the home. Uh, depending on where you're gonna use it, if you can use it on IGTV or you're gonna be using it on Facebook or for a virtual tour that you're gonna have a videographer uh, you know, edit the video for you later, uh, it's important that you hold it horizontally like this, okay? Horizontally like this. If it's on IGTV, you can hold it like this, okay? Uh, there's different rules of you know, recent studies have shown actually that the mobile viewing experience is better when you're looking at the device vertically. Can you see that? Yeah, rather than horizontally. But either way, uh, if you're going to be, you know, editing it later, maybe it makes more sense to do it horizontally. You don't have to hold it at eye level. Some people think that holding it this way is better, but what happens is uh, you're going to get a lot of the ceiling and, and not a lot of the ground. I would suggest that you just hold it kind of chest level like this. Keep your elbows in. That'll help you to keep it level. And slower is better. Make sure that your settings are set to 1080p. Some of us have 4K phones. You don't need it to be 4K, uh, but 1080p, 30 frames per second. If you're going to do any kind of voiceover, if you plan to do have it edited, then 60 frames per second is even better if you're going to have a professional videographer do it. Okay, if you're gonna have the sellers do it, again, a couple quick tips. It's gonna be, you're gonna come in, and you wanna pan left to right, and then stop, and then pan right to left. Then go in the opposite corner, do the same thing. Uh, keep in mind, like with video clips, the more the better. I mean, they're 10 second little clips, so I would come back in here into this, this uh, living room that you can see behind me, and I would go, I might go right to left, left to right, and then I might go bottom left, upper right, bottom right, upper left. Just give it a little bit of variety. Let the If you're gonna edit your own stuff, uh, then you can have more to choose from. If you're gonna have somebody else to edit your stuff, then they have more to choose from. Lighting, making sure that the lighting is, is good. I said this in my other video, but uh, you know, if you can put your back, so here's, Here's an example, right? We have a window here. If my back was to this, it's providing natural light to the room, but you could see how if I'm speaking in front of it, I'm dark, the window's bright. So just knowing where the light is, and then uh, if you have any kind of audio that you wanted to tie in, whether it's an AirPod, whether it's a hard hardwired uh, lavalier mic, uh, you could do that as well. I think that's it. For now, this is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero. May all of your virtual showings go fantastically. <laughs> Make it a great day.